Are you ready for this week's grocery haul? Let's go ahead and look and see what I found at the grocery stores for my family for this week. Hello family and friends, I'm Susan and welcome to my home. And on this week's menu, we have cracked chicken, pierogi casserole, taco bake, crock pot Mississippi chicken, and quick and easy stromboli. And it's time again for another grocery haul. I've already got my menu laid out my pad where I can write down my list, and the food line sales paper that I'm going to go through. I'm not going to go through all the details like I did last week, but this is where it all starts on how to save you money. So come on along. Let me show you what I find in the grocery stores this week. This buy one, get one free looked interesting, so I got two. And they had a special on Duke's Mayonnaise, $3.49. The Black Forest ham I got, and the Diet Coke was on sale this week, two for five. They also had a special on the chicken breast. I got a good deal on some. And let's get started on this grocery haul. And if you hear a begging dog, he wants a stuffed animal, and it's not his, and he can't have it. So you'll have to excuse him, because he is really wanting it bad. But here is what I got at the grocery store this week. Not a ton, but a good little bit of stuff. Uh, didn't get as many good deals on items as I did last week, but still saved about $30. So let me go ahead and start in the Walmart area with the stuffed animal <laughs> and get that going. First thing I got, of course, was a pillow. I needed another pillow. Mine has had it. So I got this nice soft one that was inexpensive. Um, I got the babies some Valentine's stuff. I figured when this goes up, it'll be Valentine's Day. They'll already have it because I'm giving it to them tonight. But I got Miss Sadie a unicorn. Ain't it so cute? And I got Jackson a sloth. <laughs> and Buddy wants either one of them. I know, I know. Yes. But he can't have them. And I needed a container to take some cake to them because I made cake last week and we still have some left and I wanted something I could buy inexpensive and cheap and put it in. And I know you saw this where you put the cake in the top and then put the what you, what's usually the bottom on top of the cake and carry it that way. And that's what I'm going to do to take the cake to them. I've got some ice cube trays and you're like, you've got an ice maker. That's right. But I want something to flavor my water that isn't or doesn't have artificial sweetener in it. Um, and I have bought some juice that you'll see here in a minute. And I'm going to make some ice cubes. That way I can put an ice cube or two in the water and it'll flavor it. And it won't have artificial uh, sugars in it or anything like that. And it hopefully will be healthier for me. Because Danny has basically steered away from sugar now for a couple weeks. And he's losing weight. And you know what? i got to try to do the same thing. So there you go. I um, also got the kids some little bitty Valentine hearts. I didn't want to get them the big ones with all the candy. I'm not a big candy person. Um, so I got them two of the smaller ones. And I got them two of these cute little sucker packets. They're adorable. So they, I can give them the, them tonight. And that pretty much ends the Walmart portion of the grocery haul. Now let's get started with the food line. Um... Danny loves the cherries, and whenever they do have them and they look really good, I try to get him some. I got him this pack of cherries at Food Line. I think it was $3.99 a pound. That's right out of pound. So I went ahead and got that for him. The only apples that I like are pink lady apples, and these actually looked pretty good. So I went ahead and got a bag of those. I think they were $4.99. And they had these strawberries on sale. They were $2.99 a pack, so I went ahead and got Danny two of them because he will sit down with one of these and eat it in one sitting. So I got him two, that way he'll have a backup. Cella is Danny's favorite chocolate-covered cherry. So I went ahead and got him two of these little packets of the Cella cherries. That way he can have something to munch on. Even though he's trying to stay clear of sugar, I know he'll eat one every now and then, and that'll be fine. I got some more cream cheese. I'm down to about one bar, and I like to keep at least three in the fridge, so I went ahead and got some more cream cheese. Sweet cream butter. Yeah, $4 and something. 
but I needed it because I'm running low again. So I got a thing of four pack. Pure almond extract. I got some of that also for a recipe that I am going to be making, which is a cherry Oreo icebox cake. So I didn't have any almond extract. I thought I did. So I got that. I'm going to be making some Mississippi chicken that needs the au jus packet. So I went ahead and got a packet of it. I swear I thought I got one last week, but I think I got the peppered gravy instead. So I've got that. Now my staple. I went ahead and got three of these things of Diet Coke. That way I can take one to work. Because in the afternoons I've been getting really tired and need a little bit of caffeine. And since I don't drink coffee, yeah, I'm going to take one of these to work. I'm going to be making some easy stromboli sandwiches. Uh, one day next week so i've got some black forest ham and i got some of this hard salami and some of the pepperoni these were both on sale for 2.99 a piece which was a really good deal so i went ahead and got those and then i saw these these were buy one get one free and i can't remember if they were um six or four dollars one or the other and um I went ahead and got buy one get one free that way i could you know get two of them they did have a sale on the cheese sharp cheddar cheese craft two for four dollars and this is basically 32 ounces so it would cost eight dollars to get the same amount of cheese and this was only 6.99 so i went ahead and got the 6.99 big thing of cheese like i normally get saves money you know i'm all about that they had Dukes on sale for $3.49. I went ahead and got one. I don't think I need more than one, but I went ahead and got one just to keep it in the stock pantry. And here's the juice I was talking about, the Healthy Balance Pineapple Orange. I'm going to put it in the ice cube tray, and that way whenever I make my water, I can use a cube or two of it in the water to flavor the water instead of using the little packet things that I normally have to try to get away from as much of the sweetener as possible. They had a sale on their chicken, the chicken breast itself. They were $1.79 a pound. And as you can see, this one was $10. I got it for $6.62. I went ahead and got two packets, just about the same. That way I can take them out of the packet, cut them in half because they're huge breasts. So I can make eight pieces out of this for $6 and then put them in freezer bags and put them in the freezer. So yeah, that is a way to uh, save a little money on the chicken. And for the Stromboli sandwiches, I got some pizza dough to, to make those with. I got some tortilla chips from Food Line, and I thought this queso blanco is always so good. That would be great for um, Super Bowl. We could dip, have some dip and some chips, and it'll all be good. Now, here's the ingredients for the um, cherry Oreo icebox cake. Oreos cherry pie filling, and a 16-ounce whipped topping. And I'm going to be making that on my uh, Sunday supper. So y'all be able to see that. But it looks really good, and it looks really cute. So definitely going to be making that Sunday or tomorrow. Depends on if it has to sit up overnight, which is Saturday. Today's Friday. Um, that way we can have it on Sunday, along with the other stuff we're going to have for the Super Bowl. I have a recipe for crack chicken pierogies. I'm trying it. We'll see how it does. Um, it called for the classic cheddar pierogies. So I got two packets of it. Wasn't sure how much I needed. Probably didn't need but one, but that's okay. I've got two. We'll eat them again some other time. But got those at Food Line. Now, they did have a sale on their Lay's potato chips. Buy one, get one free. And this is whenever you need to look at your prices. Because... They were $5.19 for one. So I would have got two bags for $5.19. These were $2.49 a bag. So I basically got both of these for less than $5. So I actually saved money. And I like these flavors too. The wavy and the lightly salted are nice tater chips. And of course the tortilla chips. The hint of lime is truly one of my favorites other than just the regular tortillas. So... This is what I got at the stores this week for my family. Like I said, didn't get a lot of good deals, but got some. And of course, watch your prices. Know what is truly a good deal and what you could get 
the store brand that might be cheaper, especially if it's of the same quality that the name brand is. And you know me, there are only a few things that I do name brand. Toilet paper, paper towels, you know, that kind of thing. And then the rest of it can be store brand. It's not that big of a deal. All right. And here we go. I hope you enjoyed this week's grocery haul and come back again next Tuesday for another great haul. Don't forget to click that link below and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And let our family be a part of your family.